Hey everyone, uh, I know I haven't posted in a while, so I wanted to make sure I got another video up before practice starts. I know we're all getting ready for our season, so uh, good luck to everybody, and um, let's get started. This is my high rep um, finishing drill. Um, it's best with at least six to ten at one group. You can have two groups going, so you can have a max of about 20 kids. Um, it runs really fast. The way I like to position it on my field is just sort of use these two box areas here, and I'll put, you'll need four cages, two group, two cages for each group. Uh, I've seen a bunch of people run this. I know Hopkins runs this. Um, you know, most, most college teams run this. I'm sure a lot of high school teams run this as well. Um, but I like it. It's, it's a quick rep, and I, I might do it a little differently than somebody else, but I like having two people in the middle, so I'll put them back to back, right? So I'll get five and six. They'll stand back to back to start the drill. Um, and then the way it runs is all of these guys have balls, and then we'll roll right handed. So five will have his back to this cage right here, this blue cage, and he'll roll right handed. He'll get a feed from four and shoot. He'll run all the way toward down towards the crease area. I like teaching kids how to roll the crease, very important in man up. And then he'll get a feed from three on the opposite side of GLE. He'll now cut down to two, get a shot and a, and a, a pass and a shot. He'll get down to the crease area and then roll. And then he'll get a pass from one and finish. Uh, six will be doing the opposite. So six will roll to his right hand first and then roll the crease to one and then down to four, and then across. So they'll be sort of mirroring each other um, when they do this drill, and they'll get four shots. Uh, you'll get two in tight shots and then two cutting shots. Um, you can vary these shots, right? You can do, uh, if you want to do quick sticks, right? The reason I love this drill is there's just so many things you can do with it. Quick sticks, you can do behind the back. Uh, kids love. Um, you can put goalies in there. You can have goalies or no goalies, right? And at that point, I really bring out the – if you use both goalies, I'd use tennis balls or those softballs, um, you know, for something like that. Goalies get good work. You're, you're not beating up your goalies. Um, and the goalies like it too. Uh, it gives them good work, and they know um, guys are not shooting with power. They're shooting for accuracy. Um, you know, this is sort of our inside 10 yards rule. Um, you know, make sure we stick it inside 10 yards. Uh, if you're doing, if you're doing, let's say you want to do a lefty roll, so you would just do it in the opposite direction. Um, so five would roll to his left, six would roll to his left at the same time, and then you would get your cut and a shot, get down. This time you roll the crease right handed, then you cut down to three and then roll the crease right-handed. And then um, five would do the same things. We're just mirroring it on the other side, right? So they would go around in the same motion. If you've got more kids, right, let's, you've got, let's say you're going to do 20 kids, so you're going to have two at each spot, it actually becomes um, pretty easy. You're just going to have two groups of five at that point. So one, two, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, nine, ten. Um, one, three, five, nine. They're going to be throw one, three, five, seven. They're going to be throwing to nine, two, uh, four, six, eight. They're going to be throwing to ten. So when they roll off, right? Let's say you're doing a um, a righty roll off. Nine's got his back to this cage. Rolls gets a pass from seven. Rolls gets a pass from five. Cuts gets a pass from three. Rolls gets a pass from one. Same thing with 10, and they go at the same time, just like always. And then you would just switch. So then you would take, um, you know, two guys, two and one, put them in for the 9 and 10, and do the drill over again. Um, but it's a great drill. It's a fast drill, a lot of reps. Um, you know, like I said, you can do quick sticks back to um, behind the back. You can have goalies. You can have not. You don't have to have goalies. Um, so you can have step-down shots. You can have shots on the run. Um, so a lot of different options with this. You can get high reps with 20 guys. I know I, you know, offensively on my varsity, I only have, I think I've got 12 guys, right? So I might just do this in one cage. Um, 
where I'll have, you know, pick, pick 10 guys or six guys and have four guys doing something else in a different drill and then switch, right? So, you know, figuring out a way to get guys more touches, quicken up the practice, liven it up. Um, there's a great drill for stuff like that. So anyway, I hope you enjoy the drill. Um, I've put a lot of free resources um, on my website, Susan Lacrosse. Uh, I've put some blank practice plans for, so you guys can get organized for the season. I've put some fields up there. I've put a full practice plan that I filled out uh, for a 2-3-1. Um, check that out. See if you like it. Um, please comment below if you want any um, specific videos on any specific topics. I think I'm going to get into some offenses um, in the next in the upcoming weeks. I like talking about offense. Um, and then please share. Uh, like and share. And uh, have a